haven't been crowded in a oh, right. um, <laughs> How was it like when you were crowded? Could you imagine being crowded for 15 years with little connection to the real world? Unfortunately, this happened to a lady in Burma whose name is Aung San Suu Kyi. Um, Aung San Suu Kyi, however, managed to overcome this situation optimistically and it inspired me to learn more about her. And what I found is that her position of power from within actually it helped her initiate um, the democracy in Burma despite of personal struggle or political barrier. First, let's talk about Aung San Suu Kyi, background information. Aung San Suu Kyi spent her early life in many different countries around the world. Um, she received well education. She was born in June 19, 1945 to a Burma independent hero, whose name is General Aung San. In 1960, she moved to Delhi, India, and she studied politics at Delhi University. In 1967, she moved to England and she received political philosophy and economy um, bachelor degree from Oxford University. In 1988, she returned to Burma to nurse her ill mother. And in this year, there was a social movement rising against 25 years dictator in Burma. The social movement rise because of the economic hardship in Burma and it caused the dictator to resign from the positions, and there was a call for general election in 1990 in Burma. During this movement, Aung San Suu Kyi emerged as a social movement leader, and according to historical dictionary of international organizations, they claim that Aung San Suu Kyi actually was behind the driving force of the establishment of the National League for Democracy Party in Burma. The party actually was dedicated to democratic reform in Burma, and in that election in 1990, um, the party actually won 82% of the parliament seat. However, the dictator disregarded the election result and detained the NLD party member, um, including Aung San Suu Kyi. As a service of her vision to install democracy in Burma, she confronted with countless challenges in her life. She was separated from her family because of, uh, mostly because of 20 years that she was detained in Burma, and 15 out of those years she was detained under her house. This information is from Burma campaign United Kingdom. Back in 1972, Aung San Suu Kyi married to Michael Ayres and who is a Tibet scholar, and she gave birth to two sons, whose name is Alexander and Kim Harris. After the house arrest began, um, Aung San Suu Kyi had a chance to meet with his husband, her husband only twice, and she actually get to meet her youngest son only once within that 20 years. And unfortunately, later, Michael was diagnosed with a prostate cancer. He requested for a visa to visit Burma so that he, he can visit Aung San Suu Kyi, but um, the government denied his visa request. And the government spread out negative messages about Aung San Suu Kyi. They said that Aung San Suu Kyi is not a good person because she is not doing the same thing that wife in general is supposed to do in her situation. And Michael passed away in 1999 in her absence in England. During this year, her opposition asked him for time to prevent her to gain political barrier, political power. After being real, after she was released from her first house arrest in 1995, she was not allowed to travel out of, out of Rangoon city, which is the capital of the city of Burma. When she tried to travel, um, her convoy was attacked for time, and once her vehicle was blocked on the street, on the bridge for five days. And these are just some example of the challenge that Aung San Suu Kyi confronted with. But now let's look at how she attained and used her power. Um, her position of a power from within helped her overcome, overcome the barrier of her vision. Serving in Burma is her life vision and it's something that she always wanted to do. 
According to the movie, the choice, which is the movie about her, she said that I wanted to make sure that Michael knew from the very beginning that my country meant a great deal to me and should the next city arrive for me to go back to live in Burma, he must never try to stand between my country and me. That's what she said in the movie. Um, her clear vision to serve Burmese is her spiritual strength or what something we call the power from within. Harry from CNN put it this way. It was, her, it was the strength of her spirit, the passion of her cause, and the, the profile beauty of her soul that enabled her to withstand 20 years of detention, live with the memory of her father as a nation, overcome the separation from her family, and galvanize a movement of a nation of people to rise up and take that, take that country back. Being able to recognize and having the privilege in her personal background, she was able to exercise her expert and charismatic power. Aung San Suu Kyi exercised her expert power, which according to our textbook is exists when we are, in, we are influenced by people because of what we believe they know or can do. She, just, she didn't just receive a well education, she was also a visiting scholar at Kyoto University. She was a UN secretary. She was a researcher officer at Bhutan Foreign Ministry. Her expert and knowledge, because of her expert and knowledge, she was able to speak and influence Burmese to see democratic Burma. Asian Survey, which is the journal article, it said that her experience at this country and her observation in Burma prepared her to comment and criticize social social structure and support for democracy in Burma. Aung San Suu Kyi also exercised her charm and personality um, as her power, which we call as charismatic power. According to the um, Asian survey again, it said that because of her warm smile, song, facial feature, piercing eye, dialect speech, perfect Burmese, and her appearance in traditional Burmese clothes, Aung San Suu Kyi easily won the heart and support from Burmese people. In 2012, she was elected to be on the Burmese parliament, and her party actually won 43 or 45 seats on the Burmese parliament in the first election after 1990 that the parliament accepts the election result. Now, what we can learn from Aung San Suu Kyi, when you think of yourself as an incapable one or imperfect one, I hope that you can think of three things from Aung San Suu Kyi. First, accepting and respecting for who you are, identically and spiritually is a powerful force. Second, knowledge that you possess rest your qualifications. And lastly, ability to gain liking and respect from others much depend on your characteristics. Thank you. she got like her sense of connectedness with her country Can you repeat, like, uh, why do you think she was so passionate about her country what do you think made mm -hmm. her like that I am not sure to be honest but I assume that I mean I can get back to you for information but for my assumption I think it's because very she born um, as a daughter of her father who very like you know independent hero in Burma. Um, her father actually made Burma become independent 
from United Kingdom, and I think because of the, uh, she has been the opportunity to go out to other country and see how it's like, you know, in other country like United States, United Kingdom. I think she come back and see how things like in Burma. I think it's very maybe makes her feel like she want to do something for her country too. That's something that I understand.